I'm wearing size 36. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Good morning. It is Saturday. So excited. Julie is not here. She went out to meet someone for breakfast, a friend that she hasn't seen in a while who lives near us. But it's gonna be great because she's gonna come back and we're gonna go do something fun. I don't know what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be great. I think I'm gonna trim my beard because it's too long. It's gonna be a great day. I'm so excited. Got the vlog rendering over there, so that's gonna be pushed up in just a little bit, which is gonna free me up for the rest of the day. There's a pretty lady back there. Look at you! What you doing, pretty? Whoa, oh, 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 okay. Well, nope, maybe not. <laughs> I am going to attempt to make zucchini chocolate chip bread. That sounds delicious. It does, in theory. It really does. This is not what the other bread that we had, is it? No. That was banana, that right? That was just banana. Well, and actually, this one has banana in it mm -hmm. to make it um, moist. Mm -hmm. It'll help not be so dry. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Zucchini, banana... We actually never showed you that other bread, I don't oh, think, it so but it was, it was really didn't. delicious. This is more zucchini-ish. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm interested. I think it's going to be good. Let's do it. Okay. We'll do it. Still looks very runny. <laughs> we may put an extra five minutes on the clock. I am diffusing some frankincense. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Just smell that. Smell it. Doesn't it smell great? <laughs> I don't think I ever went back and to say that I did order. I did purchase some oils, and they're supposed to come to me next week or the next week. But they went ahead like they had a kit there, so they just let me take that home to just sort of fuse and. I'll have access to it before mine comes in. It's an interesting system, but it was, I didn't complain. It was cool. The kit that I have, I'll return it when my kit that I paid for comes in. And I suppose they'll just refill the bottles and no, I don't know. So far, my two favorites, I do love Thieves, but I have diffused frankincense a whole ton. I mean, a lot, almost every day. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I do love oils. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to become obsessed. You excited about the zucchini bread bit? Whoa. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's it's time guys. It's all coming off right now. Just kidding. But look at this. Don't get cat. rolling still. Seriously, look at that. <laughs> it's his tent. <laughs> so this is a beard bib. They're excellent because they catch all I about said fur. The hair that comes down. It usually if it's down, like dude. <laughs> You, you pop it on and off the mirror really easily. It's got little tabs on the side you just pull, but it's really secure on there. So like, I'll, I'll put it down there, push it on firmly, right? And then you push these down like that. And now this will catch all of my beard hair as it falls down. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskers fly everywhere. That would have been terrible. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes. Look at that thin face! Hello there! Look at this face! <laughs> I guess the beard was hiding something! You're, it's so trim! Aww! It feels like I just lost five pounds. I, <laughs> I bet, there was a lot of hair. It was, it was. I feel like this is still a little too much, but Anna said it looks okay, so... Yeah, you're so <laughs> thin! No, I don't know about that. Yes, you are! Thank you. Aww, I'm trying to kiss you! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, look at these delicious, delicious pieces of bread. It's so tasty. 
I think they turned out great. Randy, <laughs> he tried a piece and he said that there's a ton of flavors there. And there are. I mean, you have cinnamon, you have zucchini, you have chocolate chips, you have banana. There's a lot of flavors in there, but it's also just really delicious and it wasn't hard to make. I found that recipe on Pinterest. You just search like paleo zucchini bread, I think. Maybe zucchini chocolate bread. I'll look. I don't know. If I remember, I'll link it down below. It's tasty. <sighs> I'm very pleased with this baking choice today. <laughs> I have my little piece here. I did try a little bite, but I it wasn't a big one. It gets his thumbs up in my book. So listen to this. Anna, you know, she's wearing a size 10 jean now, or at least she can fit into that. That's great. Sure. Okay. However, I'm just going to be honest and open with you guys about the pant size that I usually wear. When we started vlogging, I was wearing a size 40. Ooh, I know that's a big size. I'm a big boy, let me tell you. They were always really tight on me though, so I never really got a ton of them. However, since we've started this diet, 38s feel super comfortable to me. In fact, if I have size 40 anywhere, uh, and, and some 38s too, if they're looser, if I've had them for a while, they, they fall off of me. So that's pretty exciting. However, there was a while back that I was trying to get new khakis because I needed some more, and I accidentally bought a size 36. So I've just kind of put them to the side. I thought then that I was just going to take them back but shortly after that, we started our new weight loss journey with our paleo diet. So I thought it would be a really cool measurement to see if I could put them on one day. So that being said, every two weeks or so, I would pull out these pants that I could not wear and I would try to put them on. When I first started, I, I couldn't even get like the two pieces close to each other. You know, where you button them, I couldn't even get the button close to each other. They were probably like four inches between that space. Today, however, this may be an awkward angle, the pants, are on. They fit. They fit and they were buttoned. How crazy. Now they are not comfortable. I say they button, but that's it. <laughs> I feel like if I were to try to run or like do a quick little squat, something would rip. So they are not comfortable. They're not ready to be worn out, but they fit. That's crazy. Also, just a quick little thought. I know that everyone likes to weigh themselves and also measure different body uh, diameter inches and stuff like that. I kind of like this system of measurement. It's not as consistent, but buy clothes that are too small for you, then every two weeks try and fit into them. It's really exciting. But it could also be a little discouraging. I'm wearing size 36, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You still wear a 40. Okay, I'm gonna go take these off now because I can't bend over. So not to be totally focused on the clothes that we can fit into now but i will say i pulled out this container to look at and i put some of my favorite clothes when i started to outgrow them i put them in this container and i labeled them clothes i will wear again when i shrink <laughs> and that face <laughs> and these clothes are from like 2012 and 2013 these clothes, I still don't fit in them just yet. However, it was exciting to look through them. I firmly believe that I'm going to be able to fit into these by the end of this summer. That's my goal. And if I don't make it, it, I won't be upset. It's just a goal that I'm setting for myself to, I guess, maybe encourage me to even just work a little harder as far as working out instead of just eating healthy. I at least would love to fit into <laughs> these jeans again. They're bongo. They're not even like a nice expensive pair of jeans. But these are the jeans that I wore on my first date with Randy. So if I could wear those again, I would just be beyond ecstatic. <coughs> we'll see. I don't have too many expectations though. If I do, it's cool. If I don't, I it's okay.
We decided to go to this place in downtown Homewood that we really wanted to try. It's called Sprout and Pour. They have juices, which sounds appropriate, right? Appropriately named. Look at this thing. This is called the Sunrise. Anna's got the beetnik. I got beetnik, which has um, apples, beets, carrots, spinach, and celery. It's really good. It's so good. In fact, we were inside. They let us try all of their juices. They did. We tried they were sampling so good. of all of them. They were oh. so sweet. And I, I, I'm being honest here. There was not one juice that I didn't like. Like, I liked them all. Mm -hmm. It was so good. So, if you're in the Birmingham area, you should come check them out. Uh, Sprout and Pour. They're in the Edgewood, technically Edgewood, across from Homewood Antiques. It's, it's awesome. We'll put their website down below. Or Facebook page or whatever we can find. <laughs> We have met up with Julie. Hello. Honestly, we we didn't met, we, we went back to the apartment. Julie met up with us there. Now we are going to go see a movie. A movie? What movie? I will give you a hint. There's lots of fighting in it, and it's a bunch of stand-up, awesome, heroish people fighting against each other. But not as awesome as the Green Arrow or Flash. But that's just my humble opinion. <laughs> Julie disagrees with me. <laughs> I'm a DC fan girl. And Marvel is Not Marvel. It's, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> we are going to go see the new Captain America movie, uh, Civil War. And it's funny, I don't think we've seen the second Captain America. We did not America. see the second Captain America. But I'm guessing he made it. So, <laughs> I think I think it'll be okay. I think we're going to be fine. Right? We're going to be fine. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I think it was the cold or something. Wasn't it cold? Then Winter Soldier. See, it was a cold movie. Look at you, us more than I knew. We, that's pretty much all you need to know. It was a cold movie, he made it through it. I think we're good. Is that accurate? <laughs> it was winter. What, he made it, right? It, right. <laughs> he was a soldier in the winter time. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. I look like I winter. have blood running down my face. Uh, it's because you're dressing up for the part of Civil War. It's actually a vampire. terrible you're, bump. So I guess we have to say this though. Are you Team Iron Man or Team Captain America? Julie already knows this. I never attach myself to Captain America. So as of right now, I'm I'm Team Iron Man. Because I do, I've seen all the Iron Man movies. Yes, I've seen all the Iron Man movies as well. Yeah. I guess you can tell what team we're on. Also, hello, I'm a tech guy, Tony Stark. And you are full on Captain America. He's team. Cuter. He's what? Cuter. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're gonna go and see this movie and it's gonna be a blast. Julie's already seen it. Oh, it starts so. in three minutes. Does it really? We gotta go. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> This is a back hallway. It's like I'm upstairs. Famous. I have my own entrance. Oh, <laughs> good. The movie was great, but I can't, oh, I can't handle all the little fans in the bottom. <laughs> so I'm going to take the the, <laughs> the exit that's secret. I'm going to leave this way and not be seen. Where's my sunglasses? <laughs> the movie it's was so excellent. Great. It's so awesome just to see a bunch of superheroes fighting each other. <laughs> it's like, oh my it was a long movie. Oh, look down. Oh. Look down. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's the ground beneath us. We can see right through that. Oh my goodness, it's shaking. Is it just me or is it shaking? <laughs> the movie was excellent. That no, was, it was a good movie. It was a great movie. I it, wasn't crazy about the conflict, but that's just who no, I am. No, it was excellent. <laughs> it was excellent. Who doesn't love seeing superheroes bash each, bash each other's still brains out? leaving. It was so great. I think we're going the wrong way. No, we're, we're not. not. Okay. I'm still leaving on Team Iron Man. Yeah. Chili, what do you think second time seeing it? It was good. <laughs> it, it was excellent. She's still very much Cockroach. on the Captain America team. Also, something that we should make clear is that Anna and I have not seen Age of Ultron. We have not seen the second Captain America. I think we said that. <laughs> yeah. uh, we haven't seen a lot of the superhero movies that you it's, needed to see to get to see this one. We're not huge superhero fans, but I like them. I just yeah. don't go out and make an effort to see them. I know yeah. it's sad. Don't judge me. Julie did not know that we had not seen those, <laughs> and she is now saying that if she knew that beforehand, she would not have let us watch that movie. Because there were... Who was the guy with... 
Vision. Vision. Who? I didn't know who Vision was. And the woman? I didn't with... know who was with Elf. Anyway, it was a great movie though. Wonder. I liked it. Was it was great. I'd see it again. We are back home. We have had a great day. It's been a lot of fun. Did you guys think it was a super fun, awesome day? Yes. That's pretty good. Would you do it again? Yeah, I would do it again. But not Groundhog Day again. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to do it over and over and relive it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed your ride. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.